My name is Taryn. I am 20 years old. I go to senior at Coastal. My name is Anthony Thurman. I'm 18, currently stay in Columbia, South Carolina. I play football at Coastal. One interesting thing about me, probably that I'm just a lot of fun. The one interesting thing about me is I can cook. Yeah. I'm here to find a husband. So why are you here? Uh, I'm here. Shit, here for fun. How would I describe myself? Probably as life of the party, kind of stupid a little bit. I'd be chilling, I'd be in my own world for real. Why should someone date you? Honestly, I'm a good man. I just be chilling, faithful, loving, kind. I'm a lot. I keep you occupied in a way that we could still have fun and just be stupid together. What is one conspiracy theory you have? I don't think I say I have one. The earth is flat, obviously. I 100% believe that, and I think I need my significant other to believe in that as well. What is your ideal date? My ideal date, first I'd have you pick me up, obviously, because that's proof number one if you have a car or not. And then probably take me down to the local tattoo shop. And I think that solidifying that date would see if we get matching tats. First date, matching yeah. tats. Find out if you don't be the wife. Yeah. Right, okay. My ideal date for me would be picking her up, you know what I'm saying, getting her some roses or something like that. Go have fun, like, you know, either go see a movie, go to an arcade. You know, I like art, so like go to a little art gallery, wine and dine, oh. like see some live jazz after that, you know, take a little oh, walk. Oh, you're taking me on like each a other. real date, okay. You know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, and see how the night go from now. So what do you think about hooking up on the first date? Ain't nothing wrong with it. I feel like if you and that person real life had like a good connection, like the vibe was there or whatever, and the mood was set, then I say go for it. But if it's a boundary where she's not okay with it, you gotta respect that. Seemed like a very gentleman, I, but I agree. What do you think about him so far? Definitely a green flag. I mean, roses and wine and dine, shit. She got a pretty beautiful voice, I can't even lie. I think he seems very genuine. I think that he's very serious about finding love right now. Shit, it for fun. One thing that I'm looking for, and or that I look for in a guy, is to obviously be funny. Like, I like someone that I can be stupid with. I don't know about that matching tattoos first date. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going for that. Like, more than just like jokes, but like someone that I could literally be weird as fuck to. But I, I'm not really feeling the, uh, the whole Matching tattoos, first date. Kind of can reciprocate that instead of giving me like a little side A. One thing I say I would look for in a woman, she gotta have a good personality. Which I kind of already got when I said something about tattoos, but it's, it's okay. She gotta be a woman of God, she can be God fearing, someone I can fire with, chill with, you know, just grow physically and spiritually. How long have you been single and what happened with your last ex? I've been single for about a year now. We just grew apart, honestly. It was no hard feelings. Good relationship. I've been single for about like six months now. Also, like grew apart, but he's just like a tad. He was a little crazy. What, 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 what type of what type of crazy are we talking about? Mm. He just gave like a went like a controlling crazy, I guess you could say. Oh, so he was controlling. Yes. Okay. And why have you been single this long? Real life, I've been chilling, like you know. Working on that path. Yeah. What's that path? What is that? That path. Entail? I mean, just growing as a man, spiritually together with God. You know, trying to work out my. Trying to like a little makeover for yourself in a way. Trying to yeah. be a brand new yeah. you. You can say that. You can say that. Give me your best pickup line. My best pickup line. I ain't got no pickup line. I'm really straightforward. I just say, "Hey, beautiful. How was your day? What's your name?" And I just get the number straight like that. Okay. What about you? Don't really have a pickup line, but I guess if I was like out in public and like saw someone obviously attractive looking, I'm gonna go up to them. They're in like a bar scene kind of area, and I would be like, either what are you drinking? Cause that's oh, or you drink? yes, I drink. And by the smell that I was smelling when I was jamming, do you smoke? Yeah, I smoke. Hmm, nothing wrong with that. You but smoke too? I do smoke. Mm, okay. <laughs> What's like your go-to drink? Oh, table pork. Oh Love God. Me some table pork. So obviously you're not out at a bar, you're just Nah, nah, ain't no at, bar type of person. At home with your yeah. friends drinking Taylor Port. Yeah, be chilling. What type of liquor you drink? I like a good cocktail, either it's, you know, a little bit of tequila. Mm, tequila. Not I Patron. just had some tequila. You just had some tequila? Yeah, on the way over here, I had some tequila. Are you like tipsy right now and high? You're like cross right now? Nah, nah, nah. I have a high tolerance. I'm just chilling. Okay. Probably didn't wash down that cup of Taylor Port in the car. That's disgusting. That's you got like, Taylor Port in the car? That you're like not a real drinker than if you drink Taylor Port. Oh, no. I don't drink just Taylor Port. I drink yeah. Casamigos, Pescado, 
Hennessy, Apple Crown Peach. If you were in a committed relationship, what would you consider to be cheating? I was in a committed relationship. Cheating is like something that you obviously know is cheating that you don't want your other chick to be kidnapped to know about. Texting. Mm. That's why you and your last girlfriend broke up. You were mm. had so we were texting hope each other girls, weren't you? Nah. <laughs> I don't even yes. say people numbers. So I don't know how I'm texting people. Okay, so what would you consider cheating? Obvious sex. I mean, you having okay. sex with somebody else. A physical know. relationship. Relationship. Yeah. What I mean, about like an emotional relationship huh? with someone else? I mean, she if she's emotionally in a relationship with someone else, I, I consider that cheating as well. I'm the type of person I'm gonna trust. Like I'm gonna let the evidence just come out to me, even though I be peeping it, cause I'm not gonna assume, cause a lot of people assume and overthink things which cannot be true. In real life, we're just watch to see how it play out. Okay. Just move how people move for real. Okay. If you go into a big fight, how would you go about resolving it? How would I resolve the fight? I'm a big communicator, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk it out with you. I'm like, okay, this is where I messed up at. Where did you mess up at? And when we figure out where we messed up at, boom, you know what I'm saying? We can collide, we can grow, you know what I'm saying? We can really, ugh, Okay, maybe. well, like, let's put in perspective what kind of fight are we talking about? Because I'm thinking, like, a fight, like, either most likely you or my other person would have done something wrong. And so how are you gonna, you know, like, make up for that? Are you just gonna just talk it out? Are you just gonna, I'm sorry? Or say that again. Like if we were arguing because because you did something wrong in whatever kind of instance. What did I do wrong? <laughs> I don't know. You in in what case I did something wrong, I'm the type of person I'm gonna admit to my wrong. I'm gonna apologize. I feel like you're saying like all these like I want to hear answers. I want to. I feel like you're single after a year. Obviously, I'm keeping it. Get. I'm gonna keep it a start with you. I'm the type who pushes for a relationship. I like to fight for my relationship. I like to fight for mine. And you can't fight for someone and the other person ain't fighting. So you get tired of it, you feel me? That's what happened in my relationship. Oh, okay. As far as the whole fighting issue, hell yeah, I mean, shit. If you piss me off, I'm gonna be pissed off. I think communication is key, but I am very stubborn. Mm. So I feel like if I am gonna fight either, I'm gonna have to either, you know, catch my little attitude or you're just gonna have to figure out how to. Ain't no but. wrong. I know how to fix that, little act right. That's all, that's all you need. Act right. What's a red flag you see in a girl? Boy besties, it's a red flag. What about you? I, for me, it's more of like the language and the talk. I've heard a lot of no caps and shows from you just now. It's not a red flag, but when you're talking to your friends, homeboys, whatever, about girls, are you referring to them as like females? You give like a female energy. Like, yeah, you know, it's a female. That's like code word for bitch. So that's a red flag for me, honestly, because that tells you a lot about. You say female, don't you? Nah, I say shorty, or I say this girl. Can I ask where you're from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Okay, that says a lot. What's that supposed to mean? Shorty. If you came up to me and we were out and you said, what's up, I just shorty? Said, you you're attractive. What I said, hello, shorty. When I said the whole thing, when I go approach woman, I say, hello, beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, queen. Okay. Love. One of those right. one of those words, I'm going to call you that because I'm a gentleman. Okay. I'm not going to disrespect you. When I'm with my homeboys and shit like that, we don't be talking about, we don't call no other female, no bitches, nothing like that. Okay. We be like, shorty, little woot to woot. My little woot girl, woot. Yeah, my little What is woot, you know woot, what woot to woot? We, we be saying all that. What is woot to woot? You said like six names. Yeah, yeah. Woot to like, woot. Like that's... That's, I'm basically giving out other names without calling the female a bitch because that's disrespectful. <laughs> but like you can see why that's kind of like what I'm trying to say is a red flag. No, I feel like, what you I feel what you saying, but <laughs> but mine is not my that's not me. I'm like I'm not, okay. I'm not gonna call okay, I believe you. Not unless you pick the women in my family raised me right. Where's you well? Okay. Yeah. Woo -do -woo. Uh, <laughs> what are two things you hate about your past relationship? Mm. Uh, one thing from my past relationship that I hated, like I already said, that controlling was kind of ridiculous in kind of every aspect. In a way, I think that like he was controlling and that, that was all the relationship was. Like, I just want someone that could be like more of just like a, like a friend. That's, mm. you know. Touch it, touch it. Okay. So you like him crazy? I don't like them crazy, but obviously that seems to be what I attract. So what about your ex? Tell me a little bit about her. She uh, she cheated on me with her ex. Physically, right? Because that's what you consider cheating? Hell uh, yeah, she physically. She I'm sorry. <laughs> um, other than that, the communication just stopped. I kept making it an effort. 
I could tell like when the anniversary came around or whatever, she was real distant. She didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I, that's when I knew. Telltale signs. Yeah. So but what? we ended it on mutual terms. When and how did you lose your virginity? When I was my freshman year of high school, the freshman year of summer, I had just got a relationship. I had met my brother. He's my closest homeboy now. We took these two high schoolers. They were like seniors about to go to college. And we took them out to the movies or whatever. And me and Starting little, off strong as senior. Me and, me and little woo woo, you know what I'm saying? Me and old girl, we, we wound up hitting it off. And I played the role as Mr. Know-it-all, but I didn't really know I was. Did she know that you're a virgin? Hell no, nah, she ain't <laughs> And I lost my shit at at the movie theater too. At the movie, like inside the movie Not theater inside or like in the, the car? Movie theater, like in the car at the movie theater. That's interesting. Also, I had a similar kind of experience. I was also a freshman in high school and it was a senior. Yeah, that I was Hold on, how many bodies you got? Hold on. Yeah. I mean, like, but you can't really judge me for that because same thing happened to you. No, right? no, no, I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't. It was, yeah. But at the time, that was my boyfriend. So oh, I was, you know, so you see, that's I was the that freshman was, that was your dating man. a senior. Mm. What's your body count? <laughs> and does body count matter to you? Oh, shit. I'm going to say body count. Well, my, okay, my body count is. Give me a stack. I, Don't lie. I'm not lying. I'm actually trying to gather my thoughts right now. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> roughly, I think 17. Seven, like 17 or 18. I personally don't think that body count matters you, because I love that. <laughs> if anything, love that. you're I'm talking like what? I love that. You love that? I love that. What you are you used to like some 40, 50 hoes or like Nah, nah. God no. Okay, so what about you? Six. Only on six. I bodies. feel like you're lying. I swear to God. Six I've since that movie theater parking lot. I've been in a relationship, huh? Six people, including her, so five other people. Yeah. Since that movie theater parking yeah. lot. Yeah. Two other people, and then like the rest of them was like people I was in a relationship with. Five relationships? I've only been in five relationships. No, I've only been in four relationships. Okay. So I, wasn't home. I feel like that speaks character, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, not like like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that goes for being high or low, so. But nah, nah, body counts don't matter to me, honestly. Because I'm, I'm just a nasty. So like, nasty with six. I mean, okay, okay. On a scale from one to ten, how freaky are you? And what's oh, the freakiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? Oh, uh, I break the scale on freakiness. And are Freaky. you the judge of that? <laughs> Track records. Uh, You're just giggling over there by yourself, like talking about I'm how about, freaky about you, you are. Okay, the nastiest thing I done done is I done picked a female up on and put her on the wall instead of eating her coochie. On the wall? On the wall. On the wall. You you put her on the wall? Yes. And then, if you got a mirror in your room, I'm gonna just go to the mirror and start curling you and just looking at myself in the mirror and smiling. I lie to you not. I lie to you not. That's the freaky shit I didn't know. Interesting. What about you? Um, I think my level of freakiness also is a little bit higher up there on the on the scale. Personally, mm. it kind of just depends on how hard I'm feeling a person, whether or not. Because I could be freaky, or I could just be like, okay, this is mediocre, mm. in a way. But um, freaky thing I've ever done. How do you feel about feet? Arr. No, like this, is like a genuine question. Uh, if you got pretty feet, ain't nothing wrong with you. I feel pretty feet. You uh, saw the girl toes or something? I mean, me? Man, you suck the guy toes? No, I would never put a man's foot in my mouth. So the guy sucks your toes? I mean, yeah. I wouldn't Ain't say that's the freakiest that. thing I've done. Okay, I was about to say that's not the freakiest thing I've done. Freaky. That's but. like marriage type. So you would suck your wife's toes? Yeah, yeah. It's my wife. <laughs> I don't know. I think like the whole feet kind of realm to me is like the mm. freakiest thing that someone could do because okay. that's not for everybody and okay. only some people kind of enjoy some things like that. So I've done. A little bit with feet, not toe sucking. Could you kind of assume what I'm talking about? Yeah, I feel what you're talking about. Okay, I don't think he knows what I'm talking about. No, I do. Okay. I've sucked toes before. It's just not the freakiest thing I'm doing. <laughs> She's an eight, but she has slept with your friend. It depends on the level of friendship of what me and the homie got. Like, if that's the. I'm homie, talking like your your best friend. You meet a ooh? What the fuck? <laughs> she an eight. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! Me, nigga threw me the oop. If that's my best friend, if I'm not in a relationship with. The but woman, like now knowing you that you had her like after second, like shit. leftovers. Nigga, I would never have be leftovers. 
But, but honestly, that's what she is. She already slept with your friend. Okay, she slept with that nigga, so she finna <laughs> sleep with me there too. <laughs> <laughs> like at the end of the day, bro, I don't, I don't look at it as that seconds. That's so high school. That's so immature. It's not though. Like I mean, personally, I'm talking like. That's like, this is your girl now. I'm not talking like, about some oh, girl, girl that you're oh, just trying to link girl. up with. Oh, like no, this is your girl who has that it. you know has had sex with your friend. Oh. Uh, She's still an eight. I've been in that situation before. Seems like you handled it well. Obviously, you were like, "Hell yeah, you hit her too. I just hit her too." Hell no. Nah. <laughs> she about a six and a half. That shit. She me. was a six and a half. No, no, Or no, she no, is no, a six no, and a no, half no. now. She's, she's, a, she's a six and a half now. You said that was your girlfriend. No, I'm saying if it was my girl. Oh. And that happened. He's a ten, but it's small. Like what's small for you? <laughs> What's the biggest you had? <laughs> I am a girl with high standards. I'm just, I'm just put that out there. So for me to like get up and actually like be like actually hell no, it has to be at least like like ten inches. <laughs> ten inches. Anything else higher, I guess, would be more of my my taste. You ever thought about fucking a horse? <laughs> think you, you think you could provide? <laughs> ten inches is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You get this six and a half stick with a curve in it, though. <laughs> so if he's a 10 and it's small, I'm going to have to say that he's like a zero, in my opinion. I can't work with that. Damn. <laughs> She's a seven, but has a high body count. Six and a half. What's a high body count to you? 30 plus. Is there like an age range at all or just like just 30 plus, like in general, like before you marry her? No, I ain't no age range. Like, you got 30 plus bodies, I feel like, and we not in a relationship. She's we, just very well experienced. Yeah, Probably man. would take you for a joy ride with your six. <laughs> but she a seven, though. That just, that just drops points down, though, because she got a high okay. body count. Yeah. He's a four, but he's six four. Six four? Hell yeah. Six four with like a goddamn I don't know. five inch cock. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a six or a seven. Okay. Six four is kind of tall. I like someone that could like tower over me. How tall are you? I'm like five, five, six, five, seven. Mm. How tall are you? Six, three. With a five inch cock? Six and a half with a curve to the left. <laughs> She's a nine, but has an OnlyFans. Now be careful on how you answer. Fuck no. <laughs> OnlyFans, you're selling my property, my, would I Yours. be- Yours, yours? Would I be, would I be- but Like uh, you see how like some thrashing. of those like OnlyFans like, like couples, you know, they make couples money together. You talking about fucking for the world to see. So what is she? Uh, seven and a half, eight. Interesting, okay. He's a 10, but doesn't have a job. He's a zero. What happened to you saying to the, to the he a five, but he rich and famous, right? Why not be that man backbone, you know what I'm I saying? I could be his backbone, but with no job. He's not, you know He's not even trying, he's not even trying. No, My no, rich and no. famous see, boo is already rich and see, famous. See, you don't know that. You don't know that he's not trying. He's a he's a 10, but doesn't have a job, but he's trying. I don't know. He could try a little harder. I'm still going to have to say that's a zero, in my opinion. Okay. She's a 10, but wants an open relationship. That bitch is zero. Okay. That was kind of what I was looking for. I don't play about that shit. There are some yeah, people you who... You want to fuck another... Hey, but you could fuck another girl. Nah, woot woot, you get two woot woots. I can't, I can't fuck <laughs> no an open dick. relationship. Goddamn, my dick only be for one person. Yeah, one okay. Person only. Are you a munch? Am I a munch? Yeah, I had to ask that question. I've never heard a guy asking a girl like, if they were a like, munch. Do you like giving hit? Do you like giving or receiving? Definitely receiving, but I also mm. like find pleasure in giving. Okay, okay. I yeah. wouldn't call myself a munch. Mm, I am. Speak up. I like giving. Yeah, I heard, I mean, I kind of got some sort of hunch when you're talking about fucking putting her up on a wall and shit. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, I gave you some long legs because you said you were like 6'3". For sure. So I was thinking kind of like tall. You said football. 
if it's coastal, I try to draw a little Under Armour kind of logo on you. And I give you a little mustache. Do you have like any facial hair? Oh uh, yeah, I just, I used to have a beard. So you don't have a mustache? Oh, uh, I have a goatee. I you know what that is. I know what a goatee is. Truth be told, I just drew a face. <laughs> just a face? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm bullshitting with you, I'm bullshitting with you. You know, nice little beautiful face, got a smile on her face, got curly hair. Um, based off her voice, I feel like she light skin. Gave her a nice, you know, she got a nice big like, body or whatever. She got sky, like she looks small, so she says she five six. I don't know if she thick or not, but you know, it's just a little medi medium. And uh, I drew her with some nice little legs. Some nice what? Some nice little legs. Oh, little legs, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, this Adolf Hitler mustache. <laughs> what the fuck? I gave him little curly ends because I didn't know if he had like, I don't know. I was feeling, sensing some kind of facial hair. Yeah. You just drew me a little square. I think you tried to start over. Did you try to erase? Yeah, I did. <laughs> start I look... over, I, you know, I... Okay, she's cute. Yeah, he, he... She like Medusa a little bit. Do you like the legs and like, like look yeah, at the fit. I can't even lie. I fought with the legs, but that's not the fit I have on. <laughs> <laughs> Final thoughts on um, this guy seems like he seems like he has like good intentions, like deep down, kind of pure. Nah, she chill as fuck. Um, she cool. She, she, she seems like she a vibe for real. I don't know. I can like get that he's an athlete. Like he kind of portrays that. Some things she said really interest me or whatever. Not ho with his six bodies, but you gotta be good looking. You know what I'm saying? I can't can't be out here with no, you know. Ugh. Female. Do looks matter to me? I feel like the answer is no, but they play a part. I think everyone thinks they play a part, but yeah. So what if she's like 500 pounds? She's 500 pounds? Shit, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> so what if he lied and he's actually like 5'4"? Still the same guy I'm, if, if I'm communicating with, so I don't think I would have. I... <laughs> No. If she is really pretty, would you consider kissing her? But is she attractive? God damn. Probably not. I, I would not walk out right now, no, if he was 5'4". I would give, I don't think height is that serious of a deal breaker. I'm not gonna nah. pick her up on the wall? Fuck no. <laughs> I don't even know she go like that for real. I do like it like an athlete, I mean like an athletic person that like someone I can, you know, work out with or something, but football players are crazy. All right, you can take the blindfolds off in three, two, one. Okay. Okay. You did lie. Huh? So you did lie. Nah, 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 ain't no lie. Ain't no lie. Okay. Okay. Nice okay. to meet you. I'm nice Karen. Nice to meet you too, Aunt. Aaron? Aunt. Aunt. Yeah. Aunt. Nice to meet you. Okay. Maybe you don't think about it. I know, I was going to mention something about tattoos. Yeah. I'm going to ask like, how you felt about the tattoos. No, no. Got a tattoo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think about each other? Shit, yeah, she valid for sure. Yeah. She valid for sure. Good looking dude. What would you rate him out of 10? I would rank you like a seven, half, eight out of ten. For sure, for sure. What if you had a ten incher? Then you'd be a ten. More than a ten. For sure. What would you rate her out of ten? Nah, I give her. Maybe get a little spin around. Hell yeah. God damn. For sure, she about seven, seven and a half. Would you go on a second date? Three, two, one. Yeah. For sure.